Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up part two, where we actually take and cut out this uh, gimbal protector on the CNC. So in the last episode we finished up, we designed this in uh, Inkscape, and we have it here in Inkscape. Now what I have did is I've exported this as an EPS file, and then I've imported it into Cut2D. So I've got my general cut set up here, and I just want to take a brief look at the various cuts. So I've got three cuts set up, so I'm going to take out the holes first, I'm going to take out the inside cuts, and then I'm going to cut out the uh, pattern itself. Now one of the reasons I do this is I go for the, um, the, the hole openings first so I can gauge the cut depth and make sure everything's going well without doing too much damage to the material because again, if I've got to change some of the stuff on the holes, um, I haven't ruined the material, so that'd give me a good indicator. But when I start cutting out the bigger pieces, obviously that's really committing the material. So just a little bit of a tip. So as we can see here, when we go into 3D view, um, we can see all of our cut moves that the machine is going to make. So now what we're going to do is just export this as G code for the 3040 and then we're going to head over to the machine. So tell you what, I'm going to export this G code and I'll see you over at the machine and we'll cut this out. Okay, so we're back here at the machine. So what we have is a piece of uh, polycarbonate mounted up in the machine, um, 8 inch by 10 inch piece of polycarbonate. I've got the machine set up uh, in general. Uh, so basically we just need to run the g-code. Now I've decided to do the polycarb uh, because of its strength uh, in, in the copter. So, uh, and again this is one of the reasons I also went uh, for the CNC. I could laser cut this but polycarb uh, gives us some really noxious odors when cut with the laser even with the fume extraction. So I'm going to go with the CNC on this and I also want to try out the um, on the 3040 the single flute bit. So I've got this, I'm going to be pushing this at 100 millimeters a second with a single flute, uh, full RPM, and we're going to see how this cuts out. I think this is going to take about three or four passes to cut. I'm doing, I think, a cut depth of a half a millimeter each cut. I could probably go a little bit more, but we'll see how this pans out. So let's fire up the machine. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. So here's the finished product. Actually, it came out very nice. Uh, very happy with the finish. Really didn't have to do any cleanup. This is one of the things I like about polycarbonate is it's uh, a nice material to work with on the CNC and the single flute did a very nice job on finishing this. However, there is a, a, one of the tips I'd like to share with this is actually one of the things you notice in the time lapse, I ran this down into the spoil board a little bit, and I did that for a couple different reasons. So uh, tip number one, usually when you're working with something like this, there is a little bit of curvature to it, um, you know, especially if you clamp it down on the edges like I had. And you'll notice that this side here uh, took until the very last pass to really uh, cut loose of the material. Oh, sorry. I have turned it this way. This side actually uh, uh, took a while to cut loose, and, and so it was bowed a little bit. So you kind of want to run it down a little bit past there. And if you're going to leave tabs, which I, I typically don't leave tabs, is um, is I put the tabs on the front of the back rather than these sides. Again, because a lot of times material is bowed sort of like that. Uh, the other piece with this is. Um, uh, with the bit. One of the things running down, and I'll see if I can zoom in and you can see sort of the, the width of the bit, is I wanted to make sure I got one full pass around here that I got the full bit, especially since it's only a single flute. And I'll see if I can again zoom that up and you can kind of see as, as it comes down past it, 
and, and that really helps clean up the edge because you'll notice in the in the time lapse the edge fraying was really the protective um, plastic over top not the actual polycarbonate itself so that came out very nice and so all the pieces of this really came out uh, super so very happy with this uh, so anyways hopefully you took away some tips I think as far as now feeds and speeds I ran this at 100 millimeters a minute um, it, I think yeah it was 100 millimeters a minute and I ran it at a half a millimeter pass depth which was pretty good there was a little bit of chattering uh, at some places in there mainly where I did have a little bit of bowing not bad I could have probably took it up to um, 150 millimeters uh, over 100 uh, but I liked the half millimeter cut depth that gave me a nice clean cut did take a little bit longer But I think if I would have gone especially with the uh, one flute uh, any deeper of a cut I think it would have had more chip outs than what I had here. So um, because I really didn't have any chip out so I'm very happy again with the way this turned out so if you're working with with this um, I'd highly recommend those settings and it turned out really good so anyways hopefully you enjoyed this little two-part series you know how we went from a basic design on a sheet of paper to now this device that sits in there so anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did don't want to lose the paper give it a thumbs up also subscribe button is going to be coming up over there so please subscribe I release videos on a regular basis on all sorts of topics have questions hit me up below and hey we'll see you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects